Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. You've seen the title of this video, so you know what's about to happen. But before any of that goes down, if you're new here, nice to have you. My name is Ben. Before you do anything else, hit the subscribe button so I know that you like this video and so you know that you can have access to more content like this down the line. we're going to be building calculators. Now, why is that interesting? Well, calculators pack an immense punch, right? You most often use calculators for lead generation or for traffic generation in the general sense. It could be anything, really. It could be how much you can save by uh, consolidating your outstanding loans. It could be, be how much your mortgage will be. It could be how much this or this thing would save you. The opportunities, the potential is more or less limitless. With Bubble.io, it is very simple to build any type of calculator. So this is what we are going to be building today. So this is uh, from our own website and one of our services is that we help companies, B2B companies and mostly software as a service companies uh, generate more revenue. And we do this by setting up an automated outbound sales engine really that helps them get more demos and in turn helps them get more customers. So we can say confidently that by using our service that is bespoke for every client, we know that during this amount of time we will on average increase your lead generation by X. And since we know that, we can turn that into a calculator on the front end so that our potential uh, or prospective customers can also see the effect of this. Now, in our case, we have limited it to B2B companies and in specific SaaS companies. So we can do some things specific to SaaS. So let's just try this calculator so you know what I'm talking about. So let's say a company has 30 demos per month. They have a closing rate at 20%, not unreasonable. Let's say that the MRR, which stands for monthly recurring revenue for each new client is maybe 249 uh, US dollars. So that's uh, maybe a mid-segment SaaS, not really expensive, not enterprise, but not uh, really cheap either. So using our service, which in this case is called MRR Ignition, we know that we can increase uh, their MRR by a certain um, a certain amount, which in turn um, corresponds to a certain amount in ARR, which is annual recurring revenue. And based on the average valuation multiples for SaaS companies in the US, we can conclude that in the average, at least in theory's sense or case, using our service will be able to increase their company value by in this case, $300,000. Now, this is a very clear way to show how your services or products can increase the value or can mean value for your prospective clients. So this calculator has that very specific purpose. And more than that, it's very clear, it's easy to use. And if you ask me, it looks good as well. So this calculator, although the website is built on Webflow, the calculator is built on bubble.io with no code. And it's just iframed into our landing page here. So this is the calculator or type of calculator we're going to be building in this video using bubble.io. And of course, you can use any type of calculators you want. I mean, the sky's the limit here. Your imagination will set the uh, set the parameters here of what you want to build. So I just want to show you how easy it is. It's really, really easy, and it unlocks a whole um, it unlocks a whole stream of potential calculators or other fun interactive things you could build and just put on your website. Just iframe it uh, like this. So without further ado, let's go. So let's go into Bubble. Here it is. Uh, the, the, this is the one on this and we'll build it from scratch, but I'll just uh, quickly go through um, really how it, how it looks. So this is more or less the, the operational part and it's an expression. So in this you can put expressions uh, like so. 
So the calculations are uh, completed in these expressions, and that is a plugin that I think is called Utilities, maybe? Expression? Toolbox, it's called Toolbox, and as part of Toolbox, you have Expression. So very, very useful. If you haven't uh, downloaded that plugin, do that right away. Uh, it should, in my opinion, come standard, but it doesn't, so you need the plugin but very, very reliable, very useful. So in this case, we have only three inputs. We have current demos per month, we have a closing rate, and we have a monthly uh, recurring revenue. So this is again geared towards software companies. So a software company will have mostly uh, demos that, um, that drive the revenue. They have closing rates. So let's say they do 10 demos, they close two, Customers, that's a 20% closing rate. Monthly recurring revenue is basically the price if you pay monthly. Uh, and of course, then there's a couple of calculations. Here, we know that on average, we can increase lead gen by uh, 4x. I think I've counted that using 4x as well. Input them as closing rate. Yeah, four, 4x times three. Okay, yep. So uh, we, we, we know how much on average, given the same closing rate, that our outbound revenue generation service um, increases output. And then we just translate that into a monthly recurring revenue increase and an uh, annual recurring revenue increase. And then we use outside figures, which in this case is an average multiple for software companies based on the annual recurring revenue. And we show that figure because that's the biggest figure with the most relevance to the owner or management team in the SaaS company. And it's a quick way to show how much of an impact uh, a service or just an increase in lead generation uh, will have on the average software company. So that's the calculator. Now let's build it from scratch. So let's do a new page calculator. I'm going to name it calculator YouTube. All right. And let's do a group. Let's do a background color on this group. Maybe we do a blue actually. Let's do a blue. Let's put a shadow style on this. I want a big shadow. Uh, yeah, why not? How does that look? We should blur it. Spread it. Yes. Blur it. Yes. And then maybe just decrease. I like that. I like that. Okay. Okay. We're going to spread it some more. We're actually going to do it like so. All right. Now let's do some inputs. Here, maybe we, let's see, we don't have a background. We have uh, white, white, and then let's put a border. Mm -mm -mm. Just at the bottom. And we can, that can be a white one as well. All right, and we don't need, don't need that radius. Let's just do zero on all of these. That's better. So let's do a couple then. This was demos per month, input demos month. Demos, demos, probably like that, yes. Number of demos per month. 
and put MRR for client, MRR. USD and that's basically it. Now we need a closing rate, of course. So let's do a closing rate in percentage. Let's vertically distribute these and let's group them and vertically center that and let's do the group like so and then we have a few text items text <laughs> whoops text and we're doing that in white as well let's do the group a little bit higher and I don't remember with Avalanche blah 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 okay I'm just taking that like so I immediately noticed that we are going to have to make this wider so let's do that also let's do like this Okay. You get the point, right? I'm just, uh, these are just the, the text and the static things. So it's not really the interesting part. The interesting part is the actual calculations, right? But let's, uh, let's do it like this. So, 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 so let's do okay, 16 at least. I'm pasting that formatting. Sorry, I'm copying that formatting. Now I'm pasting it. So it's 16 around, all around. Maybe we make these a little bit less wide. And I'm going to take this one, just make it bigger. So let's say, I don't know, a thousand. Let's do 32. Is that too big? Oh, maybe that's reasonable. Let's do 44. That will work. That will work. That will work. This one is going to be bigger. Let's try 60. That will work. And okay. Okay. Let's make this centered so you can always make these things more pretty but for the sake of this video I am going to make it reasonably pretty but not perfect and I hope that is fine with you
Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go with the expressions then. Expression. So there's a couple of calculations we need. Demos per month times the closing rate times the average monthly recurring uh, revenue per client will give us a baseline and then we will multiply that baseline with in our case uh, let's say 3x so expression let's say MRR increase that will give us um, let's just name this closing rate so MR increase, we have input demos per month value times input closing rate value times input MR client value. Now we need to format the closing rate here so that it's in percentage. So let's say we write this just like a number, like 12. It needs to be 0 0.12 in here, sorry, in this one. So we need to do like so. Like this. And we can also put a Oops. Boom. This can be a little bit tedious. You can do it in here if you want. Maybe I should have. But the uh, dynamic values won't get caught here. So you need to uh, input them at least in this one. But having said that, you can close the loop. Not the loop. You can close the expression like so. Result type is a number. All right. And then we can just reference in here. We can reference expression, expression, MR increase value. So let's just try that. Okay. So let's try. Let's say we have a hundred demos per month and we have a closing rate of 10%. And we have an uh, MRI of, uh, I don't know, $10. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that means that we have uh, a 10, 10 demos per month of $10 each, which gives us a $100 MR, MRR increase given the calculation we've done. So, so far, it's all, it's all correct. Now, one thing I forgot was to include the multiplier. So let's do that. Let's do times three and let's also put a a, um, a dollar sign here okay and then we have the uh, ARR increase which is the annual and that's simply this one the monthly ARR so we can just reference that one and that's times 12 so it's the expression MR increase value times 12 and let's also put closing brackets on these okay and then we can reference that one with expression ARR increase we'll copy value and mm -mm, oops value value <laughs> formatted as number but I want the thousand separator to be like so okay so let's see if that is correct Demos per month, 100 demos, 10% closing rate. That's a low cr closing rate, by the way. Okay, so this is 100 times 3 is 300 times 12 is $3,600. So, so far, it's all correct. Now we have the last part, which is this one. So we know that on uh, current public multiples, average private software as a service company would be valued at 5.9 times the ARR. So this is the ARR increase in this particular case for a client using our 
outbound sales generation services. Now, if we multiply that ARR increase by the ARR multiple, we get the theoretical company value increase for a company using our services based on the inputs they have provided. So let's do that. We are, have the expression ARR increase. Sorry, that's the wrong one. Expression ARR increase value times 5.9. And let's close this one as well. And let's also copy the formatting. No, not the formatting. We should do increase ARR. Mistake. It needs to be an expression. So expression valuation increase. And in this one, we have the expression error increase value it's not times 12 it's supposed to be times 5.9 good and then we reference that cell in here instead expression expression let's go expression valuation increase value formatted as number thousand separator i also want to put a dollar sign there okay Let's see. Let's do a more reasonable example. Maybe you have 30 and maybe you have 40 and maybe you have 199. Okay, <laughs> that's obviously not correct. Nine expression valuation increase value. What have I done here? Expression error increase value at is it because should I do it like this? Is that is that is that why? That was why. <laughs> All right. So here we have it. This is the uh, calculator. This one, but a little bit different. So. Uh, I hope you can see really how easy it is. The, the key point is just the referencing the right expressions uh, in the text, in this case, cells you want to show the expressions in. Uh, other than that, it, this you can simply uh, you can simply iframe this onto your website uh, easily, so that this is what your uh, clients or prospects or whatever. Uh, we'll see. And of course, this is just an example from our case or from our perspective, but you can do anything you want. And if you want to see any particular calculator, uh, just let me know and I can spin that up pretty quickly for you to, to have as inspiration as well. So again, this is the power of no code and of course, the power of bubble. I can't speak to much on the other no code tools but as far as i know bubble is the only no code tool you can quickly build any type of calculator like this and you can set the inputs and the outputs and do any type of calculations you want so really the sky is the limit and if you're a good designer you can make it look beautiful as well and obviously i didn't spend any time making it look great here but it's okay you know it's it's a work in progress and it's to show you uh, how you can do it as well. So if you like these kinds of things and like to build stuff and want to learn more about Bubble and how you can use Bubble in specific, go to avalanlabs.co slash academy and sign up here because we're releasing two courses. One is the Bubble's fundamental course, which is if you're relatively new to Bubble and want to learn the uh, foundational uh, pillars really of of bubble the back end the front end how to connect data what you can build and and how you can think about building stuff just in, in general so high level course introduction to bubble and it's valuable for you even if you have experience but uh, depends on how much and more than that we're releasing a more advanced course which will require that you know the fundamentals already 
so that we can dive deeper into how to build actual stuff. So we will build, uh, and you'll see us build several different types of applications and how you can build different recurring types of functionalities in any app. So uh, you should really sign up for this because uh, it's amazing what you can achieve with that no code and bubble skill set. It doesn't matter if you're an independent builder, just likes to build things. If you have a service company and you want to build things for your company or productize your services, or if you're a prospective founder or entrepreneur and you want to build either a standalone software um, that can be built by by using no code, or you want to build some sort of service that can, that can be greatly helped by having the no code skill, or if you're an existing business, large or small, that needs internal tools. So it's very, very broadly applicable, and it's amazing, really, what you can do with Bubble, and it's getting better and better all the time. And yeah, that's, that's all, all I can say. So sign up, don't miss it, and you'll get notified when I'm about to release it. All right, until next time, ciao.